Welcome to another episode of the Day One Podcast. I'm Brett Nord. I'm Adam Daly. We're back for more fun. <laughs> so it better be fun. No, I look forward to this every two weeks. We have a good Same. time talking about some great stuff and interviewing wonderful people. Yes. And I, I actually, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but I, uh, no, maybe I didn't because it was right before I left. I went on vacation. Yes. Uh, for right. spring break with the kids. Mm-hmm. And I ended up meeting a family. Uh, one, The guy, uh, mm-hmm. the, the, the father listens to my other podcast. And Amazing. so we met just by you know, email or whatever. And we decided to meet up down there in Southern California and had dinner together. And it was nice. fantastic. So I love meeting That's people. Great. And today we have a special live guest on as well. We do. Vibar Craig and Reed. We're going to introduce Vibar in just a minute. Um, I also wanted to say I got had a great vacation too. That's and right. I want to thank everybody that was involved in the Facebook community post about that. I got some great ideas for a travel journal and how I went back and really refined it with photos. And I'm super proud of it. Awesome. Awesome. Can't wait to see the book version. Thank you. Yes, yes. Me too. <laughs> That'll be fun. A um, little bit of housekeeping. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's talk about two things. Um, the Instagram importer is still being worked on, still you know, working out those last little uh, bugs and quirks and whatever and getting that ready. Uh, video is still on the roadmap as well. Writing prompts. Uh, there's actually been some design yes. conceptions coming up for that one or templates. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's exciting. And... Uh, some users may have noticed a couple of bugs that were released soon after 3.6 on iOS uh-huh. and 3 or 3.0.2 or something on Mac. Uh-huh. Um, those were quickly resolved and flipped around and uh-huh. uh, submitted back to the App Store. Uh, I had a t- there was one weird one with the location editor where you'd open it up to edit a location, try to tap on a location, and it wouldn't save. Uh-huh. And uh, a bit frustrating for our users, completely understandable. Yes. And actually... This is interesting. It wasn't actually our bug. We, we we hadn't gone back and done anything to do that. It was a there was an update update to Xcode, which we used to code all of the app, uh, and it was a compiling issue. Wow. Anyway, so we went back in, fixed it. Re, you know, did a quick release for three dot six dot two, and so that's done. Make sure you're updated. It should be out to everyone right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and three dot zero dot four also had one small fix in it as well on Mac. So make sure you're updated to those. Uh, and I believe one dot one dot five on Android is coming out soon. That will resolve several issues. Okay. Um, issues with photo rotation uh, in your entries, um, location editor uh, updates, etc. So. Updates are coming. Uh, the other elephant in the room, I guess we should talk about, is the sync outage. Let's do it. Um, man, I can't even remember when that was. It was over a weekend, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, two weekends ago. Two, yeah. Yeah, sometime ago. Just after ago. we recorded the next day. No, it wasn't long. It, it only lasted mm-hmm. about 20, 24 to 30 hours. Uh, it was over weekend, Saturday morning to Sunday morning. And, um, you know, what we're doing behind the scenes is working on improving the sync platform completely to make sure that it is supportive of the future, what we want to do, especially with these audio recordings, video recordings, Instagram importers, templates, uh, moving the book printing. Uh, hopefully the plan is moving book printing to the web so it can be done on any device. Uh, all of this is, in, you know, what we're doing backend stuff on the server to prepare for that. And so sometimes right. we'll deploy a, an update on the server and, you know, we're, we're doing better at testing that in a, uh, environment before production to make sure that it's going to work obviously but sometimes issues come up and so there was a slight outage it was quickly resolved uh, well i mean within 24 hours that all being said and i, I feel like some <laughs> some sort of like loyalty thing where i want to defend our product i think i think day one is fantastic sure. as, a, as a consumer i used it before i started working at day one uh not as heavily i would use it a lot more now as an employee sure. um but like, as far as like our uptime, it's pretty pretty darn good mm-hmm. for a homemade sync service. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we use AWS for like hosting the content and stuff like that. Encryption works with that, everything. So that's all good. But as far as our uptime, it's generally really good. And we're mm-hmm. really sorry for these hiccups. We're working to get all of those worked out. And that's the yeah. whole idea behind these updates. Right. Uh, so just want to apologize to anybody who had any inconvenience. That's obviously not our intent. Our intent is to build a really stable, really great product that you guys can rely on to keep your memories safe. So yes. anyway, I hope that, hope that addresses it. If you have any questions, reach out to support. We're happy to answer those as best we can uh, and, and give you the information that you need. So right on. Thanks, Adam. That's all I have. That's great. Let's move on to our guest. Vibar has been patiently standing by. I can see him. He's just waiting for us to introduce He's on him. the starting blocks. Vibar, you live in the UK, right? Where exactly do you live? 
Uh, I'm in London, but I grew up in Manchester. Love it. So awesome. Go <laughs> Manchester. He's a mank. First vibe bar I've ever met. I don't know if that name is common. I think I, think I might be the only one. <laughs> yes. That's good. So it parties. Yeah, my name's, my name's based off uh, an Irish name, Finbar. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm the only one. There's me and there's an industrial wax polymer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's great. <laughs> Good. Well, tell me, and, and I know the answer to this, but tell our listeners how you came to my attention with day one. Your background? Um, uh, uh, gosh, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. So I started using day one not all that long ago, uh, mm -hmm. towards the end of last year. Mm -hmm. um, it popped up on my radar. I'm always interested in sort of, productivity software and things like that. Um, and then one of the ways in which I started flirting with the software was I listened to a couple of the podcasts. Yes. Yeah. Um, and so I've got a couple of early entries. And then um, I think I started, I think I just jumped in with two feet because I, 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 when I was mucking around with the software um, before I'd um, gone pro, as it were, mm -hmm. I was just thinking, you know, how, how am I going to use this? You know, is it another piece of writing software? Like, can't I just keep my notes with, with dates on it? Isn't it the same thing? Mm. Um, and then um, one day I just thought, oh, what the hell, I'll, I'll pay for the year's subscription. And it's completely changed my life. Nice. <laughs> now, I'm curious okay. about that. Can I? Can we Please. stab he, in he's here a little bit? He's taking questions. Okay, so, yes. he's taking questions. Don't, 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 yes, don't, um, don't, yeah. That's an interesting bridge to, to, to get over, and I think we, we arrive at that with a lot of different software. We look at maybe a free or trial version. We go, okay, am I really going to get this out of it? So you weren't necessarily getting as much out of it with the free version necessarily, but when you went um, – or, or no, you can correct me. Ha happy to be corrected, but just curious, like, what was that thing that made you jump into premium? I, I, I wish I could remember, actually. Oh, okay. um, but the but I do know that from the day that I jumped into premium, from that day to this, I haven't missed a single day. Wow, that's awesome. Um, and so we're talking. It's probably about four months now. So you know, it's not not it's not like the longest thing I've ever done. But you know, as streaks go, for me, that's really quite a long streak. Yeah. Um, the I think the thing was it, the, the the ease of entry. So once I'd gone, um, once I paid for the 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 the, the year. Uh, just the fact that I could enter, you know, uh, data from anywhere just made it much, much more usable. Mm -hmm. uh, and it became, initially I thought it was just uh, a, a digital diary, but then all of a sudden I realized it was actually, um, it's it's more or less replaced OmniFocus. I don't know if you guys know OmniFocus. Yep. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I've been using OmniFocus for, um, oh, at least since version one. I mean, uh, for a long, long time, for mm -hmm. six, seven years, I think. Um, so it's, it sort of occupies a space that sits between, uh, work life and, and personal life in a way that, um, I could never have anticipated. I don't think. Cool. That's awesome. And I want to talk to you about both personal and professional life with your use with day one. Let's okay. talk professional. Actually, let's do personal first. We'll end with professional. That's good. Personal first, professional second, and then we'll get into, um, some other things about your background. So personal. So how have you found it effectively for your personal goals and kind of making you a better Vibar? Um, making me a better Vibar. Uh, I have, I've discovered that there, I had a couple of illusions about myself. One was that I thought I was a very sort of sensible, objective person that, uh, that saw situations in a really quite realistic way that didn't like to get my hopes up. And I've actually discovered that I'm not that at all. What I am is someone who's quite talented at generating negative outcomes of oh, situations. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, just being able to see these on, on the page and to realize that, um, you know, I could just sort of slightly shift my uh, processes. So that's been, that's been, uh, that's one of the biggest things actually. I mean, I'm, I'm an academic by trade. Um, so I assumed, I don't know, I assumed I just understood myself. Um, mm. And I've discovered that, that you know, um, journaling matters because it means you have a relationship with your thoughts mm. rather than just being a person that they happen to. Oh, man, I love that. Can we get, let, let's get that in a quote. On a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's let's put so that in good. the app, you know. 
it that means is... it means your thoughts become a thing that you actually think about rather than just experience. It's, yeah. um, mm. uh, it's been a that's a huge discovery for me. Well, and and you mentioned shifting as well as you as you start to realize maybe you're not who you thought you were, right? As you start to self-identify and have some introspection there, y- you you can start making that choice to be different if you want. Like, you know what? I I don't know if I want to be that. Maybe I want to be over here and you shift. And it doesn't have to be all at once. It doesn't have to be something dramatic, but I I think that's very helpful. And that's that's, you know, one of the reasons I journal as well. Well, I think that realization that everyone that you meet that knows you their perception of you is how they know you. You know, in other words, like I look at what Adam thinks of me is all based on interchange. We've had interactions and get like to your point of writing out, okay, who do I think I am? And I think that's so helpful in something like a reflection in journaling. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I was trying to pull up a, well, I'll come back to, oh, thanks. Um, Awesome. So that's huge insight there. Now, um, as far as the way you journal, so tell us a little bit more about your process. Do you have a routine that you follow? Do you use your watch? Do you use your Mac? So tell us about the process. So the first, I think the first podcast that I uh, listened, I think I might have watched it actually, was the uh, the Eleventh Finger. Oh man, um, from Pete, <laughs> yeah. Pete with Por- uh, from Portland. Yes. <laughs> I think about That's the great. 11th finger every time, every time I use the watch. Um, so I, um, I don't, I don't really have a routine. I mean, I, obviously I do it every day. Sometimes I'll go in two or three times a day. Sometimes it'll just be a quick few notes, um, uh, captured whenever I, uh, whenever I, I can. Um, the main advantage for me, uh, so because I'm an academic and I write books and uh, I teach modules, so it means that I've always got lots of, um, pro- like everybody, I've always got lots of projects on the go and conflicting deadlines and what have you. So I used to use OmniFocus um, to keep track of everything. Um, but I found, and I didn't realize this, but I found that I didn't go into OmniFocus every day. When things got a little bit quieter, I would just not open the software. But one massive advantage with day one is I, I go in there without fail. And it's the simplest thing, but when you tick a to-do in day one, you get a line through it. Mm-hmm. So it means that the, the to-do is still there. You can see what you did. Whereas, you know, OmniFocus, you click it and it just disappears into a digital bucket. Mm-hmm. I'm, sure, <laughs> I'm sure it's it's in the software somewhere, but it, but it's but it's gone. And you mm-hmm. can't, you know, you get to the end of a very busy day having spent hours being frantically doing something and you're often unclear about what you've done whereas but day one it's, it's all there because yeah. all the lines are through the things you've done and it's it's such a simple thing but i love that and it also means i don't miss stuff because i go into day one every single day mm-hmm. so any um to do's or any projects that i'm working on i just copy them over to the next day and that's where i start with each day um yeah, and then so, uh, so, so sorry, I, I don't mean to interrupt you. You have no go on. Uh, you have a blank template in your entry, and you just kind of copy that and paste it in a new entry, or. Um. So I I, I experimented with templates actually when I um, when I started using it, but I've um, most of them have just disappeared, and yeah, I just have a blank. Okay. I just have a blank page. Mm-hmm. If I uh, I have I quickly look at the previous day and see what the to dos were, and then I might copy those over. Um. But yeah, I, I, I normally just start with a blank curse. Okay, got it. Awesome. What about tags and multiple journals? What do you do there? Uh, so I have my journals here. I've got I've got uh, one that's this magical title. The title is Journal. Mm-hmm. Um, that's inventive. Another one is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quotes, facts, and stats. And then I've got uh, which is just like stuff that's handy that I'll need to need to quote uh ideas i've got a 30 day challenge i don't know where that came from mm. but i only got to day two of that because it turned out <laughs> i didn't need it um i've got i've got things to watch which is a silly one which is like netflix mm-hmm. and amazon mm-hmm. prime that's got one entry mm. <laughs> does it have a bunch so of does it have a big list though that you crossed off no oh, no it has okay. about five things in and, right. and then i just never used it again and then I've got exercise, uh, which we're probably going to come back to. Mm-hmm. And I've got I've got recipes. I really like the recipes. Oh, one. nice! Yes, yeah. that's that's uh, that's what my wife uses day one almost exclusively for. She's a amateur chef, and so she keeps gathers whatever she can and puts it in one of her journals. Love it. Recipes. 
Awesome. And how about tags? Tags. So, mentioned so all actually, I should have said all the action is in journal. It's got uh -huh. like uh, 15 times more entries than any other journal that I've got on there. Mm -hmm. uh, tags. So I, uh, how do I quickly, uh, let's see. So I have about 25 tags, but I actually only really use one. And the one I've got is um, is my favorite one. And in fact, earlier this evening, I went through to see all the entries that had this tag. And the tag is life lessons. Nice. And what that means is it's moments when, when I just say to myself, go, see, you thought that, and then this happened. Yep. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's ways in which I've been proved wrong or my realistic worldview has, has uh, proved not to be very realistic at all. So they're, they're usually quite funny. My favorite one that I, I read was <laughs> um, one morning, rather bleary-eyed, getting up, uh, uh, looking at my phone, <clears throat> uh, opening up my, <clears throat> excuse me, opening up the BBC radio app, and just at the bottom of the screen, you know, eyes don't probably work work quite quite, quite right in the morning. At the bottom of the screen was an entry that said, um, it, you know, is your job bad for you? And I just thought, oh, for for God's sake, who who has made a program for the BBC on my subjects? And it was one of those things where I just thought, I, I can't even, I'm not even going to look at that. Anyway, a few seconds passed, and then I thought, and uh, curiosity got the better of me, and I clicked on it, and it was me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought, if I hadn't have looked, I'd have spent the whole day being furious at this person who'd who'd stepped onto my toe, and it was me. Oh, yep. I love it. <laughs> that is great. It's a great story. Good life lesson. And I can't wait to talk about your professional life. Should we hey, now? hey. Ready? Yeah. Let's dive in. Let's do it. Tell us about your Always. background, and then I've got questions for you. Excellent. Okay, so my background, I am um, I teach at uh, the University of Kent, mm -hmm. which is in uh, which is in Kent, um, which is then uh, like the lower uh, uh, eastern part of, of England. Mm -hmm. um, I've taught there for quite a long time. I, uh, I'm an academic, so I wrote, my first book was um, um, uh, a very, very academic, dry academic book. And after that, I decided to do something a bit sort of racier and a bit more exciting. So I wrote a book called Footnotes, How Running Makes Us Human. I love that. And one. that took me into some very unusual territory. I ended up writing about um, biomechanics. I'm a, I'm a literary scholar by trade, but I ended up writing about biomechanics and, and anthropology. Um, and then after that, I um, most recently, I, last year, I published a book called... Um, called um, Primate Change, um, How the World We Made is um, is Remaking Us. And it's all in the title, really. It's about how um, how the, 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 the changes that we've made to the, our environment um, are written all over our bodies, how they've changed our facial appearance, our height, uh, the function of many uh, of our body parts, how illnesses that we think are genetic are often to do with um, uh, our environments, even things like athlete's foot, asthma, all sorts of, you know, all of these things, they're, they're really strongly environmentally driven. Uh, so, yeah, and then after that, I uh, made some pro programs for the BBC about, about that subject, and they're going to start airing, I think, next month in May. Awesome. Ah, oh, that's great. See, this is big time. He's been interviewed by BBC yeah. Radio. He's done audio audible, right? You did audible recordings for uh, your book. Yeah, I, I recorded my own. I did a, my own audio book. Have either of you done that? Nope. Was that nope. a slam? Oh my god, it's the hardest thing. Like I've worked in McDonald's. I've I've done. <laughs> I've 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 cleaned vomit out of urinals. And <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, sure. audio book is the hardest thing I've wow. ever ever done. Really? Well, I, I imagine though you like probably have to repeat yourself several times on different lines or you mess up a word and you're like ah oh, got to go back yeah, and do so that. Yeah, so I went in I went into my little recording booth and you have a producer and the producer um said uh you know don't worry you you're going to make mistakes. He said you're going to make hundreds of mistakes. Mm. He said today wow. you're going to make hundreds of mistakes. And about the first 50 mistakes you go oh sorry. <laughs> oh sorry. And after that, you don't even bother apologizing yeah. <laughs> and the software sort of goes back and helps you. But um, I got to the end of the day and I, you know, I couldn't talk. I mean, can you imagine talking for yeah. six hours, like solid? Sure. It's 
exhausting. Yep. I was going to say, Adam but actually really gave me the same advice when we started that I would make tons of mistakes. <laughs> he was right. That's, that's he, was, true. he says that every episode. <laughs> that's not true. Before we record. <laughs> no, I can't imagine the discipline. That must be just hard to do that after hour after hour of recording. It's not a discipline. It's just an experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Awesome. Very cool. Well, I'm excited to read your book. I want to know, you know, if you can, I know you said the title of it and you told us a little bit about it. Tell us a little bit more, a little more of an edge, elevator pitch of why this book fits in with other books. Why would I want to read this over other similar books? Okay. Um, it's, it, why would you want to read it? Because you have a body, right? You mm -hmm. know, you have a body check, check. and um, all humans, uh, all human bodies are affected by their environment. And you might think, you might look in the mirror and see your face and, um, and expect that, uh, that that face is a unique expression of your DNA. But, you know, if you're, if you're like um, one of either 85% of people in Singapore or 97.6% mm. of people of uh, young men in South Korea, then you probably, then you wear glasses because you can't see, you know, your, your eyes don't work properly. Um, all our, the, the lower part of all our faces um, is a different shape to what it should have been. Hmm. Um, none of us should really need dental work. Our teeth should fit in our head, but our jaws have been made so small by um, our strange diet that when our adult teeth come through, they're all uh, crushed and mangled and they come out all, all strange. Whereas in the fossil record, you know, you have a perfect array. So um, the your our environment is written on our on our faces. It's written in our height mm. uh it's it's all over us it's in our it's in our back pain um it's in our arthritis it's in a in our osteoporosis mm. everything is our environment and a, a big thing that the three of us are doing now you know sitting down is is has a huge effect on it i know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why everybody's having standing desks now yeah i just um, stood up by the way yeah <laughs> yeah that's what uh yeah so and it's not just about being sedentary it's the fact that that sure. i mean there just weren't there just weren't chairs around 200 years ago i mean you could yeah. find them but people didn't use them people didn't have the kinds of jobs that um allowed them to sit in a chair for sure. for a long period sure. so the book's about all of these changes and it starts hmm. um a couple of million years ago and then it um but the main focus of changes is around um, when we started farming and that's when our, our we started getting problems mm -hmm. with our teeth mm -hmm. about 10,000 years ago and then a really big change is obviously the industrial revolution do you, um, do you go into the mental changes too it sounds very physical you're talking about physical environment and our physical bodies but do you also get into the mental and the psych uh, I think that's going to be my next book uh -huh. um, so it's alert. mainly <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me so it's mainly um yeah this this book is a very sort of physiological fleshy mm -hmm. book mm -hmm. it's mainly about um uh joints and bones in fact i mean there is stuff in there about allergies and um type 2 and type 1 diabetes and mm -hmm. uh there are lots of stuff but yeah the, it's mainly a, a physiological book so the the next book i think is going to be about the mental price the mental costs of mm -hmm. urban life well oh, i think that'll be good Really good. I'm fascinated by that kind of stuff. It will Although... be good, man. It will. <laughs> <laughs> well, just have to put us in the dedicatory pages or something, or a little thank you at the Indeed. end. <laughs> just Indeed. Just kidding. <laughs> no. Well, in fact, I would love to read this book as part of our day one Facebook group. Yeah. We've done a few books already, and I think this would be a great one, having Vibar on um, early May to discuss it with us. And Vibar, if you're willing to do that, I think it'd be awesome to have you. That would be great. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Yep. Sounds great. Let's do it. And, and that our, would also coincide with the, the, the World Service, the BBC World Service series mm. that starts in mid-May and will be available. Will be, well, it's going to be broadcast in the States. It's going to be broadcast in 200 countries. Awesome. So. Wow, how exciting. I know. That'll be good. Yeah. And, and you've done the day one podcast too. Yeah, add that yes, to your, indeed. When you're yeah. mentioning all these other things. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're interviewed by the BBC, you can say, in addition, I was also yes. a day one. <laughs> We're heard by tens of listeners. Don't worry. That's right. Tens and tens. <laughs> but we thank you all for listening. Yes, every, every single one. one. Yes, so, yes. Thanks. And we'll continue to bring content because we love to share what we, we learn. Yeah. So book club in May. Mm -hmm. uh, 
our Facebook community is growing. Mm-hmm. We have over 4,000 members mm-hmm. now. Um, and what I love about it is just watching like how they communicate with each other and address uh, concerns or use cases, yes. et cetera. And it's really awesome. Um, mm-hmm. And so we'd love to have you involved. If you are a member of that community, let's check out this book. Pri- pri- say it again one more time. Primate change. Primal. Primate change. Primate change. There we go. Yeah, it's like climate change, but primate change. Yes. It's, uh, it's not the UK like <laughs> primate. Hey, mate. Yeah. It's not that. <laughs> yeah. Bad. It's bad. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Let's move on. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. I I can't do a better one. I, you should. I'm terrible at impressions. I love that you've audio, you are the author and the narrator of your book. Yes. How fun. Yes. Yeah, so I was so touched. So it's, it was such a uh, such a, a memorable experience recording the audiobook. Mm-hmm. Somebody um, emailed me. So actually, this is one of the lovely things about writing a book is, is people just contact you and say, "Hey, thanks mm-hmm. for doing that." That's cool. Um, anyway, somebody emailed me, and um, yeah, they didn't even realize they, they 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 thought it was a professional narrator. Yeah, and I just thought, yes, <laughs> heck yeah, um, that's how you know. Yeah. That's um, oh shoot, I, th- I this always happens to me. While you're thinking of that, I just wanted to go back to the Facebook page. That we hear those of you that are saying, I, I I'm off Facebook. I wish you would have another community. We're looking at other options. I know oh, yeah. someone said disc discard. No. Not discard. What's the word? <laughs> just let my mind. Something Discord. else. I'm Discord. I'm sorry. Discord. Yeah, something else. As another option. And yeah, would love to have another community that we could. Right now, nothing really works as well as Facebook for groups. But I would love to look at other al- alternatives. Yeah. So Absolutely. Those of you that are not on Facebook still feel connected. We'll continue to give highlights on the podcast of the Just create a fake profile like I do. Yeah. That's true. You can do that. <laughs> Cheat the system. <laughs> Cheat the yes. system. Yes. My name isn't really Adam Shepard. <laughs> That's a lost reference. Yes. <laughs> Not lost on us. We got that. But thank, thank you, all the, those of you that are involved in that community, and thanks for your input. We appreciate that. Yeah, um, I was going to talk more about your habit, too. Uh, oh, no, here's my question. For your next book or your next uh, research or whatever you're doing, is day one something viable for note-taking, general ideas, yeah. and stuff like that? Talk, yeah, talk a little so bit about I've that. done, um, since I've had day one, I've not been writing, I've not been writing a book. So um, I'm going to start my next book probably in, in the in the summer. But what I have done is I've, I've done lots of journalism, but journalism often happens quite quickly. Um, but uh, I, did a, I did a thing called a long read for The Guardian. And that took quite, that was like, uh, cool. that was a couple of weeks work. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was the first time where I got to try out, see how day one would fit in with that kind of, uh, workflow, yeah, and it was great. I was I was tagging and linking all sorts of stuff from one day to the next. In fact, if I go back to my first entry, actually, my first entry just says foot intro, but so that's not very helpful. Um, my that's, other, that's an important memory, okay? Sure. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm going to leave it in there though. I think. Yeah, so look how far you've intro. come. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's the radio show. That's that's me working on the script for the radio show. Uh, yeah, and then the first proper entry I did was about how hard it was to write a radio script because I'd not written one before. Cool. You know, when you're just writing something and it's in a format you've not sure. uh, done. Yeah. So I'm, I'm and not it's a... a picture of my partner writing. There's also a picture of my partner writing on his iPad in a coffee shop, uh, practicing his ancient Greek. Oh, nice. Wow. Love it. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I just imagine like if, you know, you're doing research or you're preparing for a book or a paper or whatever it is, like having the ease or access of your mobile device, a tablet or whatever your watch, if you got Apple watch to like record a quick audio entry of just like stream of conscious mm-hmm. conscience that's going through mm-hmm. uh, and then be able to have those notes later in day one to pull out and put it into wherever it needs to go to, to be published or whatever it is. I just think that might be, I, a, I, a I, I really wish I'd had day one when I wrote my, uh, my previous book, which was footnotes, um, which was about running and the human body. Uh, mm-hmm. I'd say about a third of that was written on my phone after I'd finished a run because mm-hmm. wow. I'd, I'd run for an hour or an hour and a half and you'd get loads of great ideas and then it'd be like, get it down as quickly as I could have just dictated it into my watch. Yeah. It would have been much, much easier. And when did you but write yeah, that I'm book? really looking forward to seeing what it can do, uh, especially 
linked up with um, uh, Devon Think, uh, which mm-hmm. is a database. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, uh, database software I use. It's fantastic stuff. But the fact that it's now so much easier to get applications to talk to one another mm-hmm. through through the share sheet is great. Mm-hmm. I wish I could work out how to do shortcuts. We have we have some tutorial videos we could send you. Mm-hmm. The last two <laughs> the last two episodes we've talked a lot about shortcuts mm-hmm. from day one. Yeah, yeah Rose Orchard I, and and Brian Renshaw. I should yeah, yeah I, I think I need to s- sit down and spend some proper time doing it. It just seems like it's just one step beyond my my yeah. technical capabilities sure. at the moment. You yeah, that's why it. I steal them from other people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. Well, maybe now I'm putting it together because, Vibar, you said like 10 minutes ago that you listened to the first couple of podcasts and then you must have stopped because you didn't listen to the ones on shortcuts, right? Or you made you well, listen. No, I, I did. But okay. uh, in fact, there's an entry. There's an entry. Let me see if I can find the entry. The entry has got a photograph of hands covered in mud. Because that day I listened oh, to all of the podcasts, I think, and I was gardening. Uh, okay. So I wasn't in a position to stop and think, oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I'll make notes. All right. I won't bust that. you for only listening to two then. <laughs> I, believe you, I believe you that you picked it back up and listened to more after that. I, I think I've done about, I don't know how many there are, but I think I've done about eight. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're uh, what are we, 30? Close yeah. to 30? That's fine. Oh, my. You're busy. Okay. And and we never want everybody to anybody to feel the pressure. Just talk, oh, yeah. you know, look at the topic. If it's interest, listen to it. If not, absolutely keep gardening. But our last two are about shortcuts, and, yeah. and uh, one of them, Brian Renshaw, showed us how to do a real easy one uh, in day one, where it's just a simple prompt and uh, super easy to do. But he also has other ones that he's built, and then you can just take and put it on your phone, real mm-hmm. easy. Right. Just click on a link. Um, and then Rose Orchard talked about it quite a bit too, with uh, her connection to automators and and everything like that. So. There are, there are easy ways to get involved in shortcuts, and we'd be happy to share those. So, Well, I, I, I will listen to that again uh, in a more conducive environment, awesome. taking the information in. Yeah, there you go. No, awesome. no pressure. We, we understand. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Great yeah. interview. I, I think we've gone through. Oh, I guess one of my favorite questions that I'd love to finish with is your favorite feature. What do, you, what do you go back to when someone says, tell me about day one? What's the feature you mentioned that's... Killer for you. Uh, the fact that I can, I'm, I'm, I'm never more than about a foot away from being able to make an entry. Nice. Mm-hmm. Pretty basic, but mm-hmm. that's the thing that really, really works for me. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Is, all your devices? Yeah. Yeah, all the devices. It just means no matter where I am, as soon as I want to do an entry, I can even do it in the gym if I want to. It's so mm-hmm. easy. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. I love it. Anything else? What's your favorites? On this day probably is my favorite yeah i need to be in it for a year don't I? yeah it'll yeah. it'll come back see what i did is when i when i first started working for day one i had an old word document which just had a list of entries i ended up exporting that as a plain text i had to do a bunch of adjustment on the date format but then i was able to import that and so i got a bunch of entries right off the bat uh in, free in transition so yeah it, it worked out but i that's one of my favorites just being able to see what i was doing Last year or nine years ago. Nine years ago, I went to a Muse concert, by the way. Cool. Fine. <laughs> Did you keep the concert ticket? It came ticket? up today. Yeah. I, so I also have a tickets journal. That's one of my favorites. I take pictures of the ticket stubs. So yeah. that's that's what popped nice. up for me today. It was nine years ago I went to Muse. Oh, fun. Anyway. That's a great memory. Now you have to answer. And what about you, Brett? Yeah, mine would be, I know it sounds so general and vague, but the UI is still what attracts me to want to use it. I know there's other apps I've looked at. I'm like, oh, I love the idea behind it, but I just can't get past the look and feel. It's just not inviting. But it still is so attractive to me and inviting to want to pull up day one and use it. That one is probably, yeah, still my favorite. Um, The fact that it syncs everywhere. I love Apple Watch. My use of day one has gone up tremendously from the accessibility of having my Apple Watch to just record an entry. When you check in too, a lot too with the watch. Yeah. And getting rid of the mindset, like the long form, we talk about this a ton, like it, it is what it is for you and getting, kind of losing the idea of what I think journaling should be and just the ability to record a random thought on my watch is huge. Yeah. So that's a big. What things would you both most like to see in the software? Hmm. I, I have mine already. Go. Mine is uh, uh, improved or customizable layouts for book printing because my, oh, yeah, my, my whole good. idea is... Yeah. 
record these record this data so that it can live on right pass it on to posterity etc and so my i love printing books i do about i have to do three each year because they're only 400 pages and i have more pictures than i could mm -hmm. ever want mm -hmm. uh so just an improved layout design or, or optional how to choose like a mosaic or something like that of your photos that's what i want to see so for me it's vr I want to be able to relive a day with audio, smells, oh, visual. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm that, a futuristic yeah. guy. I'm looking <laughs> down the road. Yeah. I, I think that I'm going to be amazing. writing about that in the next book. That sounds about amazing, though. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. That does. Yeah. Gosh, that's very advanced. Spot I wasn't on. expecting. <laughs> Spot on. All right. Now your turn. Bye, Barb. Uh, so I, I think for a while I wanted video. But actually, I think I've already come around to not really wanting it anymore. Why is that? Because mm -hmm. I think I think, I think there's an interesting there's an interesting discussion to be had about this, right? Video yeah. affords affords you know a visual and an audio component to it that really helps you relive a memory, right? But, yeah. But then you start talking about storage, compression. You know, how does that survive? Yeah. And what do you keep on your device, and what stays in the cloud, right. and and it also feels like it's it's losing a little bit of what a journal actually is. I can't print then. a video. Well, exactly. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, but there are no videos in books. Yep. Not yet. Um, mm -hmm. And and the book is a fairly well established technology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's not video, so, then yeah, what is I, it? Uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I, I think I'd end up just copying one of yours. Um, I think the fact that I use this is the first software that I think I've used every day for such a hmm. sustained period. I'm, I think I'm fine with it. All right. Yes. All right. And that's, that's fine too. You we know? will deliver on that. <laughs> yeah. Deliver done. I also I think, think I would have, I would have said live photos, but actually I now, this, I, I did a, a photo loop of my partner yesterday with a train going by and the train just went by and by and by, hmm. but that, that already works. I can't believe I copied it into the, journal and i was like oh and it's still going the video oh because it's yeah, a gif loop, loop. yeah i think yeah. so yeah. yeah i think they save as gifts and so you can save a gif in mm -hmm. in day one i refuse yeah, to say I the wasn't other expecting pronunciation it at all. yeah <coughs> don't yeah, say, don't say it okay. <laughs> graphics just kidding you mean jaffix <laughs> that's <laughs> we'll, we'll debate we'll, we'll debate that some other time yes uh anyway it's been fantastic having you on vibar thank you thank for you the very dialogue. much indeed we're yeah. looking forward to the book discussion uh, in May. I'm excited mm -hmm. about that. So Me too. I'm I've, excited to read the book. Yeah. To exactly. have a primal change. I'm doing the audio now that I know that he did it. So that's what I'm going for. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's I just noticed too, and I when I pulled up your book on Audible, you did a free interview, an exclusive interview with Audible about your experience and about your book. So I want to listen to that. I, I, I did. And yeah. of all the things, because I often, you know, um, I'm like a normal person. I find listening to myself quite awkward. Yeah. So it's not a bad thing. It's okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, again, thank you. If thank any you. listeners have follow up questions, you'll be back with us in a month to yes. have an online Lovely. Facebook uh, discussion. And you can participate. We we try yeah. to transmit it a few different ways, mm -hmm. so that you can participate via texting or via video, and you actually wanting to talk or just audio. However, you want to do that. However, you feel comfortable. Sure. We want to get listeners involved so make sure you follow up on that we'll make a posting for it and everything and how to set up either zoom or facebook live or however you want to join our call that would be great um, but if you need any assistance with day one please go to our help guides for self-service help.dayoneapp.com uh, if you need additional assistance uh, there is a chat icon at the bottom right hand corner or you can go right inside the ios and android apps for a chat uh, it's just in the settings down there it's in the support section so Contact us that way if you need anything. If you have any feedback for Brett and I, or if you want, uh, if you have questions about the podcast or feedback or uh, ideas for elements of the show, let us know. Podcast at dayoneapp.com. That'd be great. If you want Brett's home phone number and credit card number, it is. Uh, <laughs> actually, That's I don't know. Me. I actually don't know. We wouldn't get you very far with the well, credit card. Yeah, well, I have a $50 <laughs> limit. You'd max out very there you fast. Go. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we look forward to talking to you in the next couple of weeks. Thanks, Fibar, again for joining us. Many thanks. Yeah. You Cheers. Take care, everyone. Bye.